Welcome back to this episode of the program Watch Therefore, and I'm so excited and blessed. As you know, if you've been watching the program, that I've been going to Africa for many years. And so the Democratic Republic of Congo, the DRC, is one of those places I've been ministering in. And one of our very special ministry partners from Kinshasa, the capital city of DRC, is with us on the program. Winner Luzalana, welcome to the program. Watch there for. Thank you, Pastor Dove. I'm uh, really excited to be part of this program today. Amen and hallelujah. Please introduce yourself to our viewers and tell us a little bit about your ministry. As you, you previously said, uh, my name is Winner Luzolana, and I live here in Kinshasa, the capital city of DRC. And uh, I've been working like a pastor. I was uh, pastoring a church uh, in the time, and uh, I'm also a translator. I used to translate pastors in the conferences, uh, you know, so many kind of Christian events. And uh, that is the ministry I'm used to do here in Kinshasa. And I'm working with uh, a lot of kind of uh, mission, American mission, and uh, with uh, many missionaries coming from all over the world, and uh, uh, especially from uh, the English-speaking country, because I'm a translator. I used to translate from English to French, from English to Lingala, because Lingala is uh, the, 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 the mother language of uh, Kinshasa. That is it. Well, it's been such a blessing that you've been my translator when I've come there. And, and just for a moment, let, ask, let me ask you this. About how many people live in Kinshasa? Is it about 14 million? Yes, Kinshasa is getting uh, more populated than before we are now uh, just uh, getting to 15 million people you know many 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 people who are coming from uh, the region where there is war at the east of congo they are just coming here in kinshasa like uh, a shelter for them because they need a safe place you know for now the safe place the safer place in congo is kinshasa the capital where all the institutions are. So many people are coming from the provinces. They are coming just here. That's why the population of Kinshasa is still uh, increasing. Great, great. Now, now uh, you mentioned you're a translator. It has been so heavenly. You were translating with me when I would come there. Heaven would just come down in our midst and people would get saved and all kinds of heavenly things the Lord would do in our midst. And I would like you to share some of that with our viewers. And then I want to talk to you about how the Lord gave you English and helped you learn English. Would you share some of that with us? And uh, really, as you said, uh, it was powerful, our, our events here with you. When uh, we went to churches, we went to preach to so many churches with you. We went even to the villages. Uh, we went so many places, and even in Kichasa. And uh, we have uh, a lot of testimonies from people. We have seen uh, many people receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And uh, we had conferences with you where many pastors, they testify about uh, the message of Watch the Four. Watch the Four message uh, has been a blessing for them. Because many of the pastors here, they were just a preaching prosperity message. They didn't care about the rapture. They didn't know about uh, the end time event. But uh, with the message of Pastor Dove, many pastors now, they are really uh, like, uh, it, it is like they were sleeping. And now they are woke up and uh, they can understand how to discern uh, the event and uh, the and uh, to to descend the signs of uh, the end time. Amen. 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 Concerning my English, as I used to tell you that I didn't study English uh, in uh, a language school. No, I remember when I was just uh, thirteen years old. I was in uh, the elementary school, and uh, I got born in that time. 
I received Jesus Christ uh, as uh, my Savior and the Lord through a program uh, led by uh, an African-American pastor. His name is Pastor Gould, Pastor Anthony Gould. I, uh, I became even his translator 20 years uh, later because uh, when he came with that program, uh, I received Jesus Christ in his, in his program. It was in uh, 1990. And then, since uh, in our church, American, they were coming, they were preaching. And then I had a vision. My vision was that one day I would travel to America and I would be preaching there without a translator. And from there, I started to pray the Lord according to Genesis uh, chapter 11. Because in Genesis chapter 11, verse 1, the Bible says, uh, in that time, all the world, they were speaking only one language. And then, and then the Lord came. So it was the Lord who divided the languages in the world. And that's why I was praying. I said, oh God, you are the author of all the languages. And you are as well the author of uh, English. So I want you to teach me English. And I was praying like that. And I was praying, as I was praying like that, I was reading some books. Uh, and uh, I remember sometime when I was sleeping by the night, I can hear like somebody calling me to work up, to study. And when I would study the words, when I would study my book uh, in the morning, while well, I'm going to experience that everything that I was reading, it will flow in my mind. And when I, when I tried to speak English, it was uh, unbelievable. Even my family members, they would say, where did you learn this language? They used to call it monkey language. Why are you speaking this monkey language? <laughs> well, hallelujah. Now, the Lord has blessed your English, and he's given you that, and you're one of the best translators I've ever had in Africa. Now, quickly, because we're running out of time, please share with our viewers how excited you are also, because you're coming to Uganda to be at our pastor's conference in May, along with the gospel preaching event that I'm going to be doing there. Yeah, it's really exciting, and I want to be part of that conference, because uh, if I come to that conference, I'm going to gain a lot of things, and that will help uh, my, uh, my knowledge, my spiritual knowledge to go forward, uh, and I really want to be part of that conference, because... Uh, this conference uh, will bless many pastors. And myself, for working also like a pastor, I really want to be part of that conference. Also, your coming there is, is important because we have a, a very special Bible translator from Burkina Faso, West Africa. Uh, they are being targeted by radical Muslims, pastors, and believers. Christians are being targeted there uh, with a uh, massacre, with Real fatal, deadly persecution there, even on the cover of uh, Voice of the Martyrs magazine at the time of this recording. And 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 so the man who's coming doesn't speak English, he speaks French, and you're going to translate for him while I'm preaching in, in Uganda, yes? Yes, yes. I need to be there also for that pastor from Burkina Faso. I need to be there to help him to translate what you will be preaching I'll be translating to him into French. So, yeah, I need to be there. So important that you come. And as we wind up our time together uh, today, Winner, I'm just so thankful to know you and that you're my ministry partner and brother in Christ there in Congo. And um, thank you once again. Do you have a final thought or word to share with our viewers before we go? I want to I thank God for everything, and I want God to continue to bless uh, the ministry of Pastor Dove. And I want this ministry to go everywhere, and especially in Africa, we really need this uh, ministry because this ministry is helping the lukewarm church uh, to work up, even to help, uh, to help the lukewarm pastors to work up because uh, Jesus is at hand. Rapture is very close. It's very close to us. As uh, all the scripture is uh, leaping out of, of our Bible, so we need to be ready. Hallelujah. And I want to tell our viewers that winter is one of our monthly 
uh, ministry partners that we support prayerfully and financially. So you can help in that regard. Uh, and you, you find out, um, of course, you saw in the break, and there's information that we'll be putting up on the screen as well. Winner, God bless you. Thank you for being with us on the program today. Thank you very much. Hallelujah and amen. Watch therefore and be ready. One important way to watch therefore and be ready is to obey our Savior's commands in Matthew chapter 28. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. According to our Savior's commands, I want to present to you a special missions opportunity. Our May 2024 International Four-Day Uganda Watch Therefore Pastor Conference and Gospel Outreach, where pastors from seven countries, Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya, South Sudan, Tanzania, Rwanda, and the DR Congo will come together for this special Watch Therefore Conference and Gospel Outreach. I can't get to all the countries and churches in Africa who are asking for this conference and gospel preaching. We have reached about 1,500 pastors in Rwanda and the DR Congo, and thousands have received Jesus as Lord in our African ministry in 10 countries since 2006. So, Lord willing, these key pastors are coming for this conference to then take the Watch Therefore message and urgency to preach the gospel and make disciples like never before back to their home countries and churches. Now listen to 2 Timothy chapter 2. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. So our budget is $40,000. And we're already using ministry funds to prepare as our Rwanda Watch Therefore Africa team just returned from Uganda in an organizational preparation meeting for this conference. Together, as Team Messiah Jesus, working shoulder to shoulder in praying, giving, and going, we can see a harvest. We can see the glory of the Lord and make faithful, wise, blessed servant disciples of Messiah Jesus who are watching and ready for his any time coming. Now, last summer in our Rwanda outreach, we needed $25,000 and the Lord raised up Watch Their Four Partners to help and what a harvest. Almost 600 prayed to receive Jesus as Lord, many were baptized, and many are in an ongoing discipleship under our Watch Their Four ministry team. So if the Lord lays on your heart to participate, send your gift to Watch Therefore or pour it out for the nations and write Africa May in the memo section or in the notes section for online giving. Folks, time is so short and this is a great opportunity to Watch Therefore and be ready. And as I said, we've seen the Lord raise up faithful partners who will do the praying and the giving, and I'll do the going. Oh, hallelujah. Remember to watch therefore and be ready. King Jesus is coming for us any moment. Well, I can think of no better way to close this program than to share the gospel of this loving Savior who came to live a sinless life and then die on the cross for our sins. He did that because he loves you, he knows you, and could it be that you need to be saved today? There's somebody or somebody's watching, and you need to hear this gospel, this good news, that though we've sinned and hell is a real place, and that's where sinners go, but for grace, God's goodness that we don't deserve, that he sent his only begotten son to die on that cross when his blood was spilling down that cross. It was paying for your sins and my sins. He was buried then, hallelujah, on the third day he rose from the grave. And he sent his Holy Spirit to convict sinners of their need to be saved. Yes, and if he's doing that now with you, what should you do? Repent and believe in the gospel. Turn away from your sins. At least begin to do so in your heart. And if you really repent of your sins and you look to the Savior Jesus and call upon his name, he'll fill you with his Holy Spirit 
And that repentance, that repenting, that turning away from your sins will turn your feet and your life around, away from your sins and right to the loving arms of the Savior. Will you do that today? He said, whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord Jesus, please forgive me, save me. I'm repenting of my sins. I believe you died for my sins and rose again. Please give me this eternal life. Please forgive me. He's doing that now. Hey, listen, we've got a brochure we want to send you, How to Begin My New Life in Christ. If you're crying out to the Lord now, please contact us. We want to send you that brochure so we can participate in the first steps that you really need to take to follow Jesus as Lord and Savior. For everyone who's watching, remember to watch therefore and be ready. King Jesus, he's coming for us any moment.